Uh, thank you for uh, giving us uh, the opportunity to uh, present uh, uh, from the national government uh, of Palau to you regarding uh, underwater heritage for the Republic of Palau. Okay. So the, pres the presentation today will be on the preservation management of UCH or underwater resources and the role of the Bureau um, towards the management of these sites. And um, the, the Bureau of uh, Cultural and Historical Preservation is under the Ministry of Community and Cultural Affairs. And our mandate is to um, survey uh, and uh, document all uh, cultural and historical resources uh, in Palau, for, uh, whether it's terrestrial or um, underwater. I'll begin briefly with a brief uh, geology of the island. In Palau, we are in the Micronesian region of the Pacific. We are uh, uh, seven degrees north of the equator. And our island is both uh, volcanic and complex. We have uh, atolls and we're also located on a subduction zone. It means that Palau is uh, sinking half a millimeter per year. Um, because of uh, our situation uh, between the Philippine Plate and the Pacific, Pacific Plate. Uh, we have a vast marine and terrestrial resources and we are oriented in a, sort of a north, west, northeast, southwest orientation. Um, and we are protected by a very large barrier and fringing reef. Uh, so uh, cultural heritage protection by means of public education is an effective medium for, um, for the community to be aware of the resources that are found in the, uh, the uh, Republic. Um, and underwater heritage offer a vast selection of heritage wealth uh, through the understanding of these resources. Um, and, and those understanding have yet to be discovered because it's sort of a, a field that's uh, sort of a less, it's not fully uh, popular besides the wreck divers, uh, which is locally. Yeah? PNC Title 19 Chapter 1 is uh, the mandate that the Bureau implements. We are responsible for the protection of all resources, cultural, archaeological, and uh, historical resources for the Republic. And we achieve this, this mission, this uh, objective through our four, four main goals, uh, which is to pre preserve uh, these resources for the benefit of the Palau people. And we have to uh, preserve and educate um, the, um, on these resources that are threatened with extinction um, and, and also um, uh, preserve uh, culture and traditional in the face of uh, increasing foreign contact. So mm, it's, a, it's, it's only one agency that does uh, a lot of these activities uh, to ensure that our heritage are protected. The Bureau uh, operates under four sections, five, administration, survey, oral history, Palau register, and public education. And this presentation will be focusing on the archaeology section that deals with um, the archaeological uh, resources for the Republic. So what does the archaeology section, um, what are they responsible for? Uh, the, the section uh, is responsible for the surveying of all Palau's uh, heritage uh, and the, the office decided to uh, divide the survey into three phases bubble dub survey which is almost complete rock island survey and underwater survey and the reason for this is based on economical development for the country and after the compact road um, or before the compact road even um, opened the, the office started doing their survey back in um, uh, back in the late 80s, going on to the 90s to survey all the resources in Babada. And this year we are doing um, IRI and IMLEAG surveys um, uh, b before the resources um, sort of get um, altered when development moves in towards Babada. The next survey that we're proposing for 2018 next year is the Rock Island survey. Um, and 2019 will be, will sort of begin doing underwater survey for our all, all the uh, underwater sites in the Republic. Besides uh, Title 19 Chapter 1, there's Title 19 Chapter 3, which is the Palau Lagoon Monument Act. 
And this act is specifically managed under the office of the president. And he, uh, the president designates an agency that would implement uh, chapter three, which for our case, it's usually our bureau that uh, uh, oversees this particular chapter. And this, uh, cell, this chapter three talks about um, foreign vessels that have sunken to the bottom of, of Palau's ter territorial waters. So it's um, um, Spain, Germany, Japan, and the United States um, wrecks that are un underwater is uh, mandated by the Bureau th through the direction of the President. There are different types of um, underwater cultural uh, sites. Uh, and these are just some of the, this is our uh, GIS database that contains some of the underwater sites that are traditional. And we have a, a different types of underwater sites. We have a submerged landscape. Madhuri uh, Ptal is one of, the, one of the landscape. We have docks and piers, fish traps. We have a bur underwater burial site uh, in Airai, the Barela Turang. And landmarks uh, that are important in our creation history and are important in um, Magai is a site where um, uh, the early Bai builders uh, went underwater and took, uh, uh, learned how to build the Bai. So those are important landmarks and sites in Palau. Another uh, type of underwater site, or not, it's just an, uh, the Yakpi stone money disc, they're not fully documented, but they are, they are uh, the ones that, have the, that were sunk during their transport to Yap, and these are uh, distributed um, along the coast of Palau when the Yapis were on, on their way to Yap and probably got capsized. So there's um, a good number of Yapi stone money discs that have not been documented. And lastly, we have our historic underwater resources. These are uh, the World War II wrecks that are located in Palau. And most of these sites are your basic tourist dive sites uh, um, that are located uh, in Palau. Uh, so tourism, uh, similar with Indonesia, it's, uh, it's very, uh, the wreck sites are very important for tourism. And, and, um, and researchers, and it's a marine habitat. And also Palau does a Palau Wreck Week with one of the dive tours that uh, bring the tourists to the various different dive sites to learn their history. Um, um, so that's part of the attraction. It's, all, it's mostly foreigners that are interested in the World War II wrecks. There's very few locals that, are do th that does diving. Um, marine habitat uh, with Kylie, um, she provided a, an interesting perspective about secondary reefs to uh, habitats for fish and other uh, species. Um, it's also for research. Uh, there's, we um, uh, provide permits to uh, research, particularly um, with the US government and uh, more, mostly with the US government for repatriation of um, World War II soldiers that, that died uh, in the shipwreck. So we are actively working with uh, DOD recovering the remains of their war dead. Uh, in the works. Uh, some of the threats that we see so far is um, similar to everybody here. There's UXO, so you can see a uh, picric acid leakage up on that um, photo there. And then just recently, the, um, just recently we got uh, a call from one of the dive guide, a tour guide saying that um, some Chinese folks put their flag on some of the wrecks. Uh, um, so that was kind of, um, it was a bit offensive for the, uh, the governments, particularly the U.S. government. Uh, um, so it's, it's these issues that we um, face for when, when tour guides or tour agencies do not educate their, their divers and put something like these um, on the wrecks. And the, the flag was removed. And also looting, vandalism, and also climate change. The, some of the coastal uh, sites, uh, uh, due to you know sea level rise, they're so they're now semi-submerged areas now. Um, so those are um, you know the threats continue to uh, build up as we move along. I just want to share um, the the field school that um, Bill Jeffrey and 
Cabra and Kylie were doing back in Palau. So this was um, our field school back in 2013, uh, where the office, uh, through the aid of UNESCO and the Palau government and the National Park Service, we were able to host and conduct, um, a, it's, it was a three week course of underwater archeology span in Palau. And we were able to uh, have different state representative from uh, Iowa State, North Mouse State, uh, no, there was nobody from Coral State, but in, in the office that participated in uh, the training. So uh, this next couple of slides is just to share um, the good things that Bill is doing uh, with us um, in the office. So the, the survey area was uh, the World War II uh, Japanese plane uh, in Palau. This is of uh, so the it's, it's just in front of uh, the quarry site um, in Palau. So this was the survey team. Uh, the it, it, I think this was the first that was ever that the office conducted, and we're planning on doing a second one um, through with uh, Jun Kimura uh, through Toga University to do a follow up training. So these are just some of the photos of uh, the site and the environmental survey was conducted by uh, Kitty over there. Thank you very much. That's uh, mapping. Okay. So you can see how good the students were, the, uh, the accuracy of their map and the actual photo. Okay, so that's just it for the Republic, and I'll take any questions. I think I'm under the time limit, so. The underwear uh, burial is uh, in Airai, it's a uh, Bellatura. Oh, maybe Calvin can explain it. I uh, I'll ask him later. Yeah. You mentioned the uh, uh, work of the uh, U.S. Uh, Army, um, they call it DPAA, where they're recovering uh, remains uh, from wrecks and things. Um, is that a continuing, ongoing thing, and do you get good um, information and records from them? Uh, yes. The, we work with them. They come to Palau every two years. The first uh, year is usually reconnaissance, where they come and collect information. Uh, the second year is when they, when all the information has been received, uh, uh, they submit an application proposal disclosing all the locations, and then um, the, the second year is actual recovery. And then there's um, uh, quite a few sites that are still um, of interest of the U.S. government uh, for uh, World War II. Um, I can only say that it's still it's. Uh, 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 it's an open, it's still an ongoing uh, work, so I cannot disclose anything more. No. So I know other than the U.S. Army, are you doing any work with, because uh, I actually tried to apply with them one time, the Ben Prop Society, are they still coming down and they still have to go through your office? Because I understand they're only looking for U.S. servicemen pilots. I mean, I keep up with their daily logs to see what they're up to, but they still go through your office for all of that. And are they still on a, I think they also do the same thing, but is it every year yes. that they come down? Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. They, they do a visit every year, and the Ben Prop team is usually the reconnaissance for DPAA. So, um, and they work together with an information sharing. So it's uh, the Ben Prop comes the first year, collects information, and then submit them to DPAA, and then DPAA uh, we deploy a team that comes and does the recovery. Um, and it's uh, US and also uh, Japan, uh, Japanese government are also doing human remains collection, but mostly territorial, uh, on the territorial um, la on land land, 
uh, rarely on underwater. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>